Good evening. Their headaches a thousand times worse than a migraine, according to experts. Now, scientists in Hull believe that new drug trials could offer hope for what are called cluster headaches. 500 people in this area are suffering from them. Joe Makel's report begins with footage of a severe attack, which some viewers watching may find distressing. This is a classic example of a severe cluster headache attack. The woman in this footage, Hilda Vollen, is in so much pain, she is asking her boyfriend to hit her on the head. Sufferers say it's one way of getting some relief. George Riley from Grimsby knows just how she feels. He suffered from the condition for two and a half years. I've got a nickname for it, and it's, I call it Damien, because it feels like the devil's in your head. It feels like somebody has got your eyeball from inside your head and they're trying to pull it out or there's a red hot needle being pushed in your eyeball and it's absolutely horrendous. George can have six to eight attacks a day. He uses oxygen to help alleviate the symptoms and if he's able, can inject himself with a drug called Sumatriptan, but he's only allowed to use that twice a day. It's quite frightening at the times because some are more severe than others. I don't like it when he has an attack and we're out because obviously he feels intimidated even though he's on his oxygen in the car. Although it's much rarer than migraine, it's estimated in the Hull area alone, cluster headaches affect around 500 people. They're often confused with migraines and getting the right diagnosis can take up to five years. And there's no specific drug treatment to prevent the condition. But medical trials in Hull could provide sufferers with new hope. Doctors are trying a new drug, injected once a month, to block a chemical in the brain, which it's hoped could prevent attacks. A cluster headache is uh, about a thousand times more painful than migraine. If this treatment is effective, as I said, it would be a revolution in how we treat cluster headache. And cluster headache, people would do anything. They will get their life back. Their children have their dad back their um, wives can get their husband back because they're so grateful because it's such a painful condition. It would really mean my life back. I'd have my life and quality time with my kids, my partner Dawn, everybody around me. At the moment I don't have no quality time because all you're doing is thinking when's the next one, when's the next one. Joe Merkel reporting on the cluster headaches. Well, Professor Peter Goadsby is a director at the National Institute for Health Research. Tonight, I asked him to explain just how bad these headaches are for sufferers. Cluster headache is a horribly painful problem, and it's sometimes difficult just to get a, to explain that, that to people. And I can tell you that I've seen a thousand patients with cluster headache, a little bit more than that, and not one of them has, to, has ever had a worse pain than cluster headache, not one. So um, fractures, uh, burst appendices, um, st stab wounds, all they say cluster is worse. And, and, and worse than that, and worse than that. I was with a patient who was the chairman of OUCH, and I can say this, and he was dying of lung cancer, and I visited him in his home, and he looked me in the eye, and he was more scared of his next cluster attack than he was of dying of lung cancer. Good grief. I mean, I mean are you excited by what's going on at the moment uh, as far as research is concerned and the work in Hull? No, I am very excited by what's happening in, in cluster headache. I mean, here's an opportunity to do something which, for, for a group of people with a horrible problem. And what we're starting to do is to understand the brain mechanisms that are involved. And this is turning into uh, studies of new therapies. And even as we speak now, there is, a, there is a study going on in the UK in a totally novel treatment for cluster headache. It's very exciting. Professor, in this area alone, in Hull, they, they reckon there's 500 sufferers. That, that feels very high. Is it, is it geographically linked to an area? No, it's not. It's, but that's probably about right. We think there's probably about one in a thousand sufferers, but only about 15% of them are identified at the moment. So there's actually a, quite a large group out there who are just having these dreadful attacks. And for years they think there's something else and there's difficulties with identification and they just suffer uh, on their own. Well, we're right to highlight it tonight. Professor, very good to have your time. Thank you very much indeed. My pleasure. Thank you.